Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach. Cross out the ones who heard my cries and watched me weep. I love everything. Fire spreading all around my room. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome, welcome to the stream. Hello. Testing one to three, the soundtrack all good. <laughs> I think it should be fine. Yeah, yesterday a little bit of hiccups, mainly because I just woke up from my nap yesterday. So yeah, <laughs> I forgot to on my mic. <laughs> okay, so let me just read the chat first. Yo, SCL, Aria Farrell, Ariel Nuru, Yawen Fook. Hello, everyone. And today, basically, we'll be doing the Arena Inter Server battle, and we are actually up against the EU. So we do know EU is really strong, no matter which team you are in. <laughs> uh, they're all like really high. Like their defense is really decently placed. I checked a couple already. It's all like this kind of stall defense, which has things like aerial. Uh, Abelio, all this kind of annoying stuff. And yeah, we're already down like 5k points. <laughs> so I don't know whether I can actually carry my team. Um, our defense wise, overall, 3 out of 8 against the EU side. In total, 24 out of 54, which is not too bad. Our offense rate a little bit Papega, 47 out of 50 only. And yeah, just gonna talk a little bit about. <laughs> My summons for the event. Yeah, so far we summoned seven. <laughs> totally no new no new units, okay? So it's the Pioneer Abilio Shadowcaster. We already got him. Christina, of course. Uh Kumar. Eh, no no. Uh Kumar's brother, Chandra. This demon, Samoth. Everything is a dupe. And we are still short of 5.5k points-ish 
for the 8th slot. So what I plan to do is... If I get everything as a dupe, I'm just gonna choose anyone. And we'll be feeding it into a blessing because we currently do not have any blessings to summon. And we got about 253 mystical scrolls, 10 elementals, yeah, still no blessing. So I guess once we hit the 40k mark, my MS should be around 280, 290, I believe. Because we are just gonna mass buy the mystical scrolls from the infinite shop. Yeah, we can buy some as well. Let's just do it up. And then we'll head over to our arena into silver battle, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna buy all the mystical scrolls. Hmm, 2k points didn't really yield us much. Just 6 scrolls, we'll take it. Alright. Crane man, the violent destroy Oliver so OP. Easy kill the kinky. <laughs> oh wow, congrats on your Oliver man. More active, yeah. Farming like mad. Our mana increased about 30 million, I think, for the past 4-5 days. So not too bad, I'm liking it. I need to collect more mana. Essentially, I want 200M before the Siege Battle Tournament starts. So that I'll be quite lenient with changing the runes. <laughs> In a way, for every Siege fight, right? Oh my god, what is all this nonsense, man? <laughs> okay, we are seeing an Oliver defense. I, I think we'll go into this one first. Try to get some wins. And what can we actually do against this? Okay, they are going very heavy win units. So maybe we- Oh, no, no. We can't bring in Nora. Nora is not good. Hmm. We go with Tassawian Perna. What else? What else can be good here? Now, I think we need a Leo. And a healer in the form of Riley. Yeah, let's go. Can you summon for me, bro? Yo, Jess, of course. Uh, just DM me in my Instagram, or if you do not have any Instagram account, then just email me, right? Then we can set up a date for it. Sounds good. I had it duped, sadly. Don't worry, bro. I'm getting there as well. <laughs> I have no confidence in getting a new toy on the last. On the last. Uh, summon, so yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just gonna be a dupe, and we'll be taking it as a blessing. It is what it is. Can't change the fact that I can't pull new toys. <laughs> okay, let's press auto. Salamat malam kwe, yo nine clouds. Salamat malam man, how are you? I'm doing good. Everything good on your side? I got Camilla dude, is she still good? The mother of Rakuni? <laughs> a Rakuni without clans though. But, I guess with the new buff, it's actually slightly better than previous. Now it actually heals your lowest ally's HP as well. I think there's a slight buff on it, but nothing really spectacular. Hmm? It's not like a molly. <laughs> you are my summoner's war idol, Cray. Yo, Ghost Gaming, thanks very much for the kind words, man. I appreciate it. So we got our first win in the back against Anki. Right, looking good. What is this? I think this one we can just go with our full win lineup. No issue here. Pull Nana Cray? Yo! I've been trying to get Nana for the past more than half years already, man. Just can't seem to do it. I don't know whether I'm just unlucky or what. But yeah, this year itself, we popped so many blessings, like 15 to 16. Maybe even more than that. It's just that. New toys! It's hard to come by, you know? Oh my god, I don't like this though. Oh my god, stop rocking. Okay, we have to dismount this guy. Gets the stun onto my Eladro. Our Diana can't change as well. Yo, yo, yo. Does my Eladro die? Got resetted. <sighs> Please prop. Nice. <laughs> oh, Sugoi. Awesome. Okay. Definitely in the back now. 
Pew Pew, Abelio. Oh, this Abelio is so tanky though. But he doesn't have any more heals. This should do it. Press auto onto the Samurf. Let's go. Can you suggest me a Siege defense, Cray? I don't have Juno, Perna, Iris. I'm planning Nana, Savannah, plus one or Nana, Kinky, Riley, Jogan. I suggest you to go with Nana, Savannah, and a Stripper. I think that one will be better than the Nana, Kinky, Riley, or Jogan. Yeah, you can even run maybe Jogan, Nana, and Savannah. Hmm, what else? Do you have any Molly? Yeah, maybe you can fit in Molly there. Hello Vom Europe, have fun. Yo Romanda. Oh, hello from. <laughs> hello. It's in the afternoon for you, right? Like probably 2-3pm on your side, I guess. I lost 3 in a row. Oh my god, one poke. Yo, abuse your Neftis Gianna, man. <laughs> Okay, this time we can go for the cleave. Finally, we are able to cleave something. Hopefully you get it before a nerf comes in. Yeah, I hope we get a Nana or a Oliver before the nerf comes. Proc proc. Yeah, but it's all good. Almost 13k subscribers bro, early congrats to you. Oh. Is this how we lose? <laughs> hmm. Galleon! Jesus Christ! Are we gonna lose this? Two turns invincibility buff, we can't do anything! Ah. But yeah, thanks very much, Perry! <laughs> oh man! Oh, I don't like this! Don't sleep! Oh, the Reckless Assault is coming, man! There's no way to... Sustain this. My khaki is dead. Life steal a little bit at least. God damn it. How are we supposed to win the Feng Yan? Just saying. Nice. Nice. Okay. Straight right off the bat, suck our third fight and we already lost. Oh my god. And we also lost our fight in the Necros. What is going on? Galleon. Galleon man. Oh, so tilted. We have to go with a full win lineup, this one. Hmm, what can we do though? Then we go with Odin, Riley. Let me think. We cannot lose more than once. So we have to win all our, all our fights now. <laughs> His damage output is quite low. So I'm pretty sure we'll be able to sustain against this team, right? 4 win against 4 water, if we lose, I'm just gonna quit the game. <laughs> Are you from Malaysia, Cray? Yes, Aloy. I'm from Malaysia. Oh, I still can't believe the last fight. How unlucky can we be, man? Galleon. I even made it like 100% accuracy, you know? Not even 85. We just went more than the usual. <laughs> ah. Okay, now my. Oh my god. We have to work on to this uh, bulwark, I guess. Okay, let's heal up. Leo AA. Leo Archangel, is it? Leo Archangel, Win Odin, and Diana. Yeah, I could do that as well. But I just want Riley for fun. Oh my god, this Bulwark is so tanky. Are we even able to kill off anything? If I heal up, the Bulwark is just gonna get stacks, right? 
Uh huh. This doesn't look good. Okay, can we strip? Didn't get the strip. So next turn we got the fourth skill. We'll use it. So Odin got five stacks, and then we are just gonna go for this because none of the healers are moving anytime soon. Just play it safe. Can we stun the Amelia? Oh, didn't get it. And this ignore damage should kill. Yep, 41k. Yeah, we just have to slowly work on this kind of comps. I'm not gonna take any more risk. We are just gonna play all this kind of safe lineup. I do have a Bovert, but honestly, I think Odin works better here together with like things uh, together with things like Dinah. Leo just to cap the speed on the opponent's side. Of course he gets like three turns, it's fine. Once we get the ignore damage, we are gonna work onto the Amelia. Let's just heal up. So we got the attack buff, five stacks. Oh, Amelia changed back to the pony form. So we'll kill off the Wusa. Yeah, slowly but surely, this is a win. We'll take it. Press auto while I read the chat. That team is cheat. I attacked the same defense with Diana, Tiana, Leo, Taranis, and lost. <laughs> what? You used like a full win lineup and you still lost to the <laughs> to this lineup. You don't have Bulwark? I do. Chongpong instead of Leo. I do not have my Chongpong rune up for the normal uh, normal contents. I only have my Chongpong rune in RTA. That's the problem. No, no, you screwed up by taking all win. Nah, we are fine. Great, I got Nana and Oliver in 5 star event. Holy, oh my god, Alloy. Who should I pick for Guild War and Siege? Are those two new? I assume it is. So if you're more focused in Guild War and Siege, I think it's a no-brainer. Nana is the better choice. Oliver is just for RTA, right? And maybe potential speed leader in your arena defense if you need it. But if you're running arena defense, things like Vanessa, Samaf are better than the Oliver because they got more sustainability. Uh, of course, Samaf has that revive, right? Um, Vanessa will be able to revive your healer or whatnot, any damage dealer that you have on the team as well. So those are slightly better than Oliver in defense wise for arena. But in terms of RTA, then um, if you're well versed in RTA, just go for the Oliver. If you focus on Siege and Guild Battle, just go for Nana. Nana is Master Race. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna cleave this guy. I don't believe that a video cuts in between. Yeah. We need to be confident with our runes. My Poseidon will land the pushback. <laughs> and we won't get cut in between. Because we need to believe in our speed tuning. Let's go. Oh, very tanky, man. So everything kind of dies. And Savannah goes down as well. Easy cleave. It's possible though violent is a thing, yep. Though about thoughts about light shadow caster you mean? <laughs> Not shadow claw, right? Light shadow caster. You actually have that unit, is it? Do you have uh do you actually have that? To be honest, I never read the skills yet. <laughs> so it's actually an ignore defense and for the shadow tie it doesn't go away. Oh, Oh, this is good. Violent? Yeah, like you place this one, then you get a violent proc into a normal attack. Doing ignore defense. Pretty decent. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's a good unit. No doubt. But I still feel like the dark one is slightly better than the light. The dark one is quite toxic if you have like violent runes on it. Yo, Craig, I just pulled my first LD Nat 5 after 7 years of playing. It was Grogan. Hey, congratulations, Tim. Yeah, Grogan is a really good cleave unit because of the anti revive mechanism on it. Really good unit to have, you know. Yeah, it's really amazing. This game. Oh, wait, the Wizard move first. So we are just gonna go for the strip. I'm just scared the Praha cuts in between, though. We need to land the pushback. Can we armor break the monkey? Okay, perfect. Push back the Praha, very important. Because it should be on Nemesis. Oh my god, I don't like this. It's gonna heal up. 
Oh wait, they didn't cut. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, that was scary. Whenever I fight all this kind of Praha, Ariel, Abelio, if we don't, if we get cut in between, most of the time we lose because everything just resets. Yo, why do I keep losing? What's going on? Okay, so far so good. 5 out of 6. So we got about 19 swords left. Huh. We can't cleave that. Why don't use Zyros? Um, because Kaki is better. Wait a minute. Do we take the risk? Against the Antares? I think we do. I don't believe the Antares can can get his passive proc within the first two first two turns. So we just do this. Armor break. Don't cut. Nice. Antares should die. And this should kill. Alright, simple. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna see what we can actually cleave before we go with all the slow battles. This one is tricky. We need... We need some moth here. Yeah, we go with some moth. Because I'm scared the Shina or Martina is fast. So we need to make sure we get the first turn. Time to loot. Go for the big cleave. Boom! Okay, nice. Let's go for the nuke. Yeah. Easy, easy. Thanks, Cray. I watch your video every day on learning how to guild war and siege. You are a very fun and cool guy. You are my mentor instead of Jill Bagel. Whoa. <laughs> Thanks for the kind words, man. I really appreciate it. I mean, honestly, when I started my YouTube channel, because I felt like not many people were doing siege videos. So of course siege videos isn't really easy to do as well because it's in the span of two days for one fight. So of course uh, things are pre-recorded in terms of my siege videos, but I just try to make it entertaining, entertaining for you guys, like uh, just uh, reacting towards my gameplay. Mm, but for everything else, I'll I actually do it like uh, live or like live when recording kind of thing. Mm -hmm. It's only for the siege battle, sometimes it's like really hard to do live. That's why for siege battle tournaments also, I don't really like to stream it because if I stream, it's gonna be like 5-6 hours. <laughs> it's quite tiring, you know. A full team with... Uh, a full team win lost a full team water. <laughs> Development is so genius, yeah. Unlucky though, I guess. Wait a minute, this guy's point so high. 1007, of course! Makes sense! <laughs> he has all these toxic units. Okay. We got no choice but to fight this guy. So I'm assuming if I run my Sierra Gianna, we are gonna miss bombs a lot. But we got no choice, we are just gonna bring those in. And what else can we actually do? I need a healer, so we'll go with a Riley. And do we fit in a John as well? Oh, I don't have my John run up, so it's fine. Mm. Tessarion? The bombs is to kill off the Kinky. Tessarion to cancel out the passive. Riley for heals. We got strips for the Nigong's third skill. On paper, sounds good. So we'll go ahead with it. Yeah, that's the reason why I bring uh, Tassarion to cancel off the Tianlong's passive. Hmm. Yeah, we have to go for the cleanse. Of course, already earlier missed the bomb onto the kinky. Expected. <laughs> uh, 
I'm just gonna leave the bomb there. Oh, actually places the immunity. I see. So this kinky is on violin, it seems. We do not have our strip because earlier we used it, so we just go for the heal. Definitely this kinky is on destroy. We just keep on stacking bombs. Because Riley can only cleanse one. Okay good, we landed the dot. <laughs> oh my Tessarian's still not moving, holy. Why can't... Keep on getting stunned up. Wow, of course he gets the additional turn. Amazing. We are on Violin as well, boys. Yo, so many immunity on their side. Yeah, we can't, we can't really do anything. GG, Gianna is dead. Jesus Christ, two turns every turn, this guy. Wow, the immunity is too strong. I can't deal with this. My Tessarion's still useless. <laughs> yeah, just proc. I feel the, the Nigong is gonna proc into the Mountain's power again. Yeah, of course! Okay, two turns as well, nice. And the uh, only reason why we bring Tessarion is to land the Oblivion, but apparently it's not landing. Hmm. Look at this Nigo man. Premium unit. He's poking every single time. We do not have the clans as well. Tessarion is dead. Yeah, there's no way to sustain this. So much damage from the kinky. Okay, okay. Uh, let's just go for the heal first. We might have a slight chance. But I'm not sure. We need to kill off the Nigong because the revives are coming. My props are coming back as well. We can't armor break, so we just go with a normal attack. Nice proc again. Another one. We might be able to come back from this. Oh no! Everything is back. Three turns. We need to kill off the... Kinky. Oh, we do not have the clans. Might be a mistake. Okay, no wonder his point's so high. <laughs> oh wow. Wow. Man. Maybe if I aim the Tianlong first. Oh my god. We are just gonna farm dragons. I don't know why my my team keep do, uh, keep dying. When I farm alone without recording or without live streaming, no no issues. <laughs> well I'm just tilted right now, I guess. Congrats Maruna in the chat, is it? Oh, nice. <laughs> Bulwark Molong that defense. Yeah, I don't really like to Bulwark Molong Tianlong comms. Yeah, I, I don't know why. Usually I always lose. Hmm. Yeah, we can Bulwark. Over this lineup. Because sometimes you need to kill off the Nigong first, right? And if you're running that lineup, you do not have any strips, so you need to hold on to your skills for like three turns. Mm. There's a potential that the Tianlang can strip into armor break and then the Kinky probably killing off your Amelia because it's on the human form. So human form the life is like reduced by 50%. Sometimes it's not really that safe, so yeah, that's my reasoning behind it. But I guess I could actually try that. Okay, so 
Who do we work on first? I think we bring down the Vigor, so no heals. We'll leave how fast last. And then now uh, we'll slowly work onto the Perna because Triton doesn't really do much in this kind of fight. Hey, how many turns is this? We don't need the procs on Amelia. <laughs> Memphisto is your best friend against Nigong. Yeah, but how are you going to Memphisto against a Tianlang Kinky though? You can't really cleave. So it's not as easy as I think it is. Yeah. Like, if you're fighting a Kinky, Ningong, and Tianlang, uh, how do you Memphisto? What do you pair Memphisto with in those kind of lineup? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we finally able to place the immunity here. True, my comp is much slower, but I also use Ariel with a decent accuracy for his S1 strip. Oh, I see Ariel. Yeah, Ariel can be pretty nice. Very solid healer. Oh, nice double stuns. Okay, we have to kill off the Perna now. Mm, 5 stacks on the Bulwark, we'll just do it onto the Halfas. And now we just need to wait for our Molong to have the skill, then we can Reckless Assault. Simple, simple fight. Okay, next turn we have the Molong's Reckless. So we just pop onto the Triton first. Okay, just go for the heal. No plans, it's fine. Reckless assault, bye bye. Press auto, easy. Memphisto, Bulwark, Morlong, Amelia. Hmm. Okay, so if with that team, with that team, then you can probably snipe off the Tianlong first, right? Ray? What team fight Nigong, Savannah, Molly, Juno? Apparently. You could just bulwark it, I guess. <laughs> now, like what the chat say, whenever I see Nigong, maybe, maybe you can actually just use the bulwark Amelia. But Savannah in play though, uh, Savannah Molly Juno, that one maybe you can just go cleave. Yeah, Poseidon, Kaki, Galen, and Tiana should be fine because I think Nigong will die as well. Oh, this guy going for some speed comp, so. We are gonna shift to the Leo defense, uh, Leo offense, I mean. Jean, Leo, Annabelle, the Holy Trinity, and then we can just fit in one more unit. A uh, Bilo can work. Nope, Kinky or destroy subset carrier. Oh, okay. So just leave the Tianlong in. I see. Yeah, because rarely fight those kind of comps. <laughs> need to have more options. Okay, looking good. Now we just need to kill off the Jin first. Because they do not have any heals on their side. Just lay out the armor break. Three turns, please. Perfect, we got it onto every body actually. And then now we can continue working on to the Jin. Yeah, Moonlight Flood. No debuffs, which is nice. Let's go for the heal. Big clap. Oh, just 13k only. Jean dies and we press auto. Just bother the cop, snipe Savannah to dismount. Oh, okay. Who's the best monster to get from event? Thinking Nana? If you have Nana in your 8 year anniversary monster event, I highly suggest you to just pick it up. Because Nana. Nana is like really strong, and I don't think it's gonna be nerfed already. I feel like it's pretty fair for Nana to have this skill set. They reduced the HP of Revive, right? Back then, the slight nerf, 50% to 30%, I think that's fair enough. Shouldn't be nerfed more. The kit is pretty balanced. <laughs> Oh, 
Also, Fire Druid is pretty good with Leo teams. Yeah, the problem is after I summon Douglas and stuff like that, I derune my. <laughs> kinda derune the. Balanus already. Mm hmm, we're good with this. Hello, Cray, I am from Indo. I like your Summoner's War content video. Good job. Yo, Hangar, thank you very much. Really appreciate all the kind words from you guys. Nana Sierra busted on the event. All new. Which one do you think? Oh, this is a tricky one. But I'm leaning towards either Sierra or Nana, you know? I think those two are slightly better. Oh my god, we didn't kill off anything. Jesus Christ. Uh, we kill off the Martina first. Don't pop. Okay, Shana goes down. Now we work on to the Vanessa. So no more revise, press auto. Okay. Oh, this one was a little bit tougher than the earlier guy that did the same defense. This one more tanky. <sighs> Another 10 long defense. Okay. What can we do? Of course, Diana isn't good here, so we remove Diana for maybe a Momo. We don't really need Feng Yan as well. So we got Area Armor Break, Revive, Leo, and then maybe a. Hmm. We need a stripper in our team because of the Wusa there. Resistance leader. We need a reviver as well. I think this works. But Praha, Praha not really good against Tianlang, but we got no choice. We need a stripper with a heal and it's a uh, and needs to be water unit as well. Hmm. Yeah. We just go with this. <laughs> I can't think of anything, man. I'm in Team 23 EU. Sander, you didn't rush, right? So you're in a lower team? Yeah, I'm in Team 114. <laughs> I don't play a rush arena, so it's fine. I don't mind camping around these ranks. And it's not really easy as well, you know? Oh, my Eladro is gonna die. Yeah, we have to revive. So we got the soul protection. Oh, he got stripped. Oh, Eladro is dead. <laughs> Already has the Wish of Immortality up. Are you serious? So fast. Oh, of course, two turns. We heal up. I still believe in my Momo, honestly. My Momo is superior. So we still have a chance to win. This shouldn't armor break us. Of course, he gets the additional turn. It's fine. Attack break. Mm hmm. Let's kill off the Molong. Oi, everything two turns on their side, man. Hey, again? Yo! Oh my- Three turns? Oh, we are dead? <sighs> we got no choice but to do this first. Leo against Tianlang. Torrin? No crit? <laughs> oh my god, please. Don't stun. Nice. Almost got a heart attack there. Wow, the procs. Wait, today what's wrong with the proc rate, man? Everything is proccing left and right. <laughs> 
Jesus. Oh, we only did 13 fights. And we're already tilting so much. Leo coming in clutch at the end. <laughs> wow, okay, okay, we are we are really stressed out now. I don't really know what to bring. Why no vampire on Leo? Dude, my vamp my Leo is on vampire, what do you mean man? Just that we didn't crit. <laughs> Okay, let's collect collect some stuff here first. Oh, we actually can oh wait. We actually have a legendary all attribute scroll. Nice. But we are gonna save our scrolls, alright? Because we'll be doing a summoning session really soon, once after I get the thing rolling. Uh what what's that? The 8 year anniversary event, once we get our 8 net 5, uh, we'll make a summoning video. Yeah, we'll play it safe with the Bulwark team this time. Opponent Tianlang is superior, <laughs> totally understand. <laughs> so strong. Every time on defense, all the butt clenching fights, you know. EU server the proc like passive skill. <laughs> I think that's also true. Okay, let's just kill off the Antares first. I don't really like him. And then we got the Forbidden Gilder and the Reckless Assault, right? This should kill off the Leo. Perfect. And I don't think we'll ever die, right? Shouldn't be any way. But my Molong taking so much damage. We have to place the defense buff. Go for the heal. Ooh. We don't have the cleanse though. Yeah, one more turn. Okay, armor break. We'll place this first. And then we can follow up with the Forbidden Gilder, Geltnir, whatever you call it. Okay, Perna really low on health. Wusa, can you proc? Okay. <clears throat> From what I see so far, you can pretty much maul on Bover a lot in your list. That's what I think too. Hmm. Yeah, we'll play with this lineup. But. Is there anything I should actually change? Maybe like Wusa for something else, I guess? But honestly, I'm not really sure what pairs well with this kind of team. Maybe like an Icarus to hasten things up. Hmm? Okay, for this one, what can I do? There's a Kinky in the defense. I'm scared if I run this team, my Tiana gets outsped by the Savannah, then we might be in trouble. This one, ooh. Can we actually cleave this? Use Riley instead of Amelia. Oh, okay. I'll keep them in mind, wires. Waiting for Fat Cat Content Cray. <laughs> so far, I only got one, which is Berman. And. I want to do the summoning session first before I pick the Net 4, because. For my net for this, I already have. Wait, what's this? Oh my god, Cardinal. The unit that I really want. Because for my net 5. Hey, no, the net 4 monster list, I already got the. Uh, what's that? The win 1 unlocked. Yeah, literally all the way at the end. <laughs> and I'm going to open up the fire as well. And then we see after our summoning session, if we don't get either one, then we can choose. <clears throat> okay, just have fun playing with new units in inter server. Oliver, Martina, Shaina, Nana. Ooh. Twins, 300 speed. Yeah, there's a lot of Martina defense, man. And with the how fast there, the how fast is actually the annoying one, you know? 
Can we bulwark this team? I don't think so. <laughs> We're gonna get wrecked by the Martina and Shina, right? Huh. Hmm. Yeah, Wusa into Martina, not the best. Yeah, I totally understand. That's why I'm still thinking. Huh, what can we do? What can we do? Um... We need a heal block. Or something like a Tessarion. But I just can't die on the first turn, you know. I think Tessarion... Tessarion is tanky enough, right? Hmm... Going Triana as well, no point because they have multi hits. It just goes through the the passive. So maybe like a light tank. Okay, yeah, light tank, light tank. We do have the vagabond. I think we play, we play Darian. Light tank plus three water units also can, but the water units needs to have heal block. I think we can fit in Tassarion, no no issue here. And assuming the Nana is on despair, we go with a healer. <laughs> Something like this. So we got two healers. Pungbik is good there. Nah, I'm not gonna use Pungbik. I, I don't have it ruined up. My Darren quite tanky though. And then we got a billion to cut in between, right? <laughs> I believe in this team. Okay, we're gonna go in. We got very high resistance, don't forget. Oh! Everything. Everything got debuffed. <laughs> Even though we got a resistance leader. Okay, never mind. We'll just go for the... We failed to land the armor break. 46% accuracy, man. Can we stun? Jesus. Stun? We are on despair, by the way. Perfect. I'm still waiting for my Tassaran to finally move. Yeah, about time. And let's place the Oblivion here first. Okay, good, good, good. We are gonna put them to sleep. I do not want them to move. And then we work on to the Shina. Oh, another stun! Very tanky. Let's just go for the heal again. Tassaran proc. Oh man. Not enough to kill! Yo! Can we stun? We have to oblivion this guy again. Hey, my Darian very tanky. I like this. I think we got this in the back. <laughs> Darian passive can't win Martina. But my runes can. <laughs> We have to believe in our runes. Okay, goodbye Martina. Now just how fast and Nana is fine, yeah. Let's just go for the heal. And I guess the tricky part now will be actually landing the oblivion onto the how fast. Because it's just gonna be resisting all the way, I feel. I knew it. <laughs> uh, if we can't believe in the, the how fast, I, I'm not really sure what to do though. Yeah, let's just heal up. Oh, when we land the armor break, you place the oblivion. Smart. So no more heals. We can just go for the strip. Easy. 
Oh, this team actually pretty decent. <laughs> Random AF, but then we get to uh, to get the win. Nice. So we got 10 more fights left. And we are gonna use the Bulwark team against this one. Yeah, whenever I see how fast, no choice. Pray how to run Bombay and how to use it. May I know what's Bombay again? It sounds like an LD unit which I don't have. <laughs> so I don't really know the skill sets. What unit is that? Yeah, we'll kill off the Fingyan first. Now we just need to turn cycle, wait for these two units to have the combo up again, and then we work onto the Ariel, Kana, and lastly, how fast, right? Hello, Cray. Which one would you pick between Momo and Mouse? Oh, this is a tricky one. Personally, I'm liking both of these units. Honestly, I always bring Momo into my Siege. If you watch my Siege videos, almost every fight I do bring in the Momo. So it's really consistent. Um, but recently I pulled Miles, right? I feel like Miles has pretty good potential. But I don't really know what to pair it up yet. Because most of the fights so far, we're seeing a lot of all these Molong, Molly comms. If you're running double win water, then bringing in Miles isn't really the best choice or the smartest choice. Because it's just gonna get reckless to salt it up and then a potential savannah to follow up into the kill. Mm. It's up to you though. If it was me, I would be taking Momo. But yet again, Miles is also a really good unit. So, <laughs> I don't really know man. This one is really up to you. Both are decent. And you just need to see where you really want to use them. Of course, Miles can be used in RTA. Momo, not really. Yeah, because Momo doesn't have really good skills for RTA. There's no way you're gonna wait like 40, 40 turns to 40 stacks to like kill off something, right? Okay, with the shield, he won't be able to life steal. So can we strip? Please just move. All right. So this one's simple. We can finally press the auto button. Duck Hypno Meow. I see. Oh, Bombay. I didn't know the name was. Uh, the name of the Duck Hypno Meow is Bombay. So it's the one that does the ignore damage, right? If I'm not wrong. Yeah, if the enemies, if the enemy is asleep and you're asleep as well, you get to ignore the damage. But this is also quite tricky in the sense that if you're sleeping somebody, right, for one turn with your normal attack, which means that their attack bar is higher than you. So running it on violent, I think is very important because if you get the ad the violent proc, then You'll be able to ignore the defense, in a way. Mm, if you do not have violent, I don't think your passive will be in play most of the time. I might be wrong, but I think that's how it works, right? The turn order. Like, when you're fighting somebody, when your Hypno Meow is moving, it's either your opponent is going to move next, most likely. Unless you get a proc. Oh, you're like really fast. Either one. <laughs> oh, another Martina defense. It seems like they got Martina HOH in... In where's this? EU. Mouse is generally easier to build. Yeah, because Mouse, you can just run it on like a... Oh my god, he's faster! <laughs> Thankfully, no stun. But yeah, like I said, Mouse is basically like a... How do I put it? Speed HP HP unit is pretty decent, easy to build, and it does really consistent damage, you know? But yet again, Momo also pretty easy to ruin. 
<laughs> also speed HP HP or speed HP attack and just run additional damage so it's entirely up to you man I feel like bringing in Hypno Meow Josephine as well yeah we'll play this lineup I'm gonna fit in a Leo as well and potential Annabelle for clans yeah we'll do this The second passive doesn't work well with the third passive. Damage is increased if you're woken up, but you need to be asleep for ignore defense. Maybe that's just a balanced choice. Yeah, I guess so. Um, like I said, I guess you need it on Violent. Violent Nemesis would be the best rune set for it. Okay, can we provoke the Savannah? Okay, we have to cleanse. Put the Perna to sleep. 17k damage, look at that. This fat cat. <laughs> so strong. Oof, 18k. Oh. We'll be able to heal up. Yeah, the light drain kills the, the perna as well. And then now we can just lay out the armor break. We put the savannah to sleep. Ah, oh, glancing of course. Because we got this on our head. And next time we got the shield up again. Yeah, I'm liking this team, you know. The combination with the fat cats. Any cats basically with Josephine is so strong. And so cute. Look at this. <laughs> I, can't, I can't wait to just make all the, the fat cats. I think all of them are really good. Including the water, uh, including the fire and wind, all of them are usable. How you build your fat cat? My fat cat is just on like a random violent, violent destroy rune build. Mm, speed, crit damage, and HP. Yeah, speed, crit damage, HP built on the Burman. The speed not too high though. But plus 75k HP, 71 crit rate, 149 crit damage. Quay, you are the first person I saw on YouTube using Momo on higher guild war and siege. What's, what is in your mind when you build that unit? Yeah, honestly, everybody always underestimated Momo. Personally, mm, there wasn't anybody that made videos on Momo up until the buff that they gave it. But I've been using it pre-buff era. <laughs> I've been using it for quite some time already since we got it. And at that time, it didn't have the, the buff on the passive yet, right? And personally, I still feel like it was a really good unit, good potential unit to fight against all this molly, molly defense. Because yet again, you're always running like double win Zagora, which is Zagora to be your tanker fighting the Molong defense. And Momo... When time goes by, when you're fighting all these Molly comps, it's gonna take a really long time to battle. So, in a way, Momo synergizes well in that slot. Mm -hmm. This one we can just bulwark. Yeah, play it safe. Do not really want to cleave already because we lost twice. <clears throat> I think Fat Cat will be the only mod with no skins. <laughs> Unless they can make the skins look fatter, then I think it's gonna be quite cool as well. Cray saw the future peeps? Nah. Okay, even if Momo didn't get buffed, I will still be using it, okay? <laughs> because I really like the skill set and I love the passive already before this. Now it's even better. Okay, we'll slowly work on to the aerial now. Can we get some stuns? Why am I using this Molong though? Oh wait wait no no this Molong is sync with my Volvert but it doesn't have max skill on the Reckless Assault that's why I was wondering why 4 turns cooldown hmm. Yeah it's definitely underrated Okay now we can go for this so it's gonna be down to the last hit Armor Break 
And we should be able to kill. Yeah, we'll just go with the fierce charge. Do you think Momo is usable in Siege even without skill ups? It will be better with skill ups because it's gonna be easier to land your armor break. Especially when I use Momo as my sole armor breaker on the team. Mm, but I remember back then I didn't even use skill ups on the Momo and it worked perfectly fine. Of course, the the landing rate on the armor break and attack attack break isn't really that high. So the fights were slightly longer than current. If you've got extra devil mons, just uh, do it up on the Momo. What do you think about Geo? Nah, Geo just throw in the storage, man. <laughs> Geo is nothing like, like Momo. There's no way to use it. It's really bad unit. Imagine the skin they make them into skinny cat. Oh, I'll be so sad. I'll be so sad if they became skinny. Okay, we got six more fights left. What's this guy's name? Quadrutsu. Oh, scary. He has a Nyx on defense. What do we do, boys? Just Bulwark, right? <laughs> I think Bulwark is safe. Cray do RTA bro. Uh, I'll do an RTA stream this week. Maybe tomorrow? Tomorrow might be okay. Yeah, let me just double confirm my schedule. Because after this, I want to make one video. Hmm. Tomorrow, Wednesday, there's no siege. Yeah, I think I think we can do a live stream on Arte tomorrow. Around the same timing as today. Sounds good. We just keep the content separate today. I just want to focus on the Arena Inter server. <clears throat> Wonder if they'll make a skin like Alice in Wonderland. Wonderland would be fitting. Oh, I... I personally don't watch Alice in Wonderland, <laughs> so which which character are you talking about? Then maybe I'll just Google it up and see. Come on, Nana, just go down, man. Oh, the two turns provoke. We don't have the clans yet. Okay, now we do. I'm gonna work onto the Nyx already, it's getting a little bit annoying. So we just go for the heal. Abilio, I'm not sure whether he has the heal yet. Oh, he does. Crap, two turns provoked again. No cleanse. Oh man. Now our speed tuning is kind of off because of this slow debuff. Yeah, let's just place three turns immunity first. Okay, should we reckless assault the the video? All right, looking good, looking good. We got five stacks, so we'll be able to heal up soon. Just gonna hold on to my skills. Yeah, we don't have the cleanse yet. Okay, finally Bulwark moved. <laughs> nice, okay. Oh, this was a long fight. Looking at it now... Oh wait, uh, Tio. Yo, Cray, which is better to prioritize? First, I'm aiming for C1 Arena, Fire Shadow Caster or Water Unicorn. If you're aiming for C1 Arena, in terms of RTA, if your team relies very heavy with all these stripper CC cleave comps, then going for the Fire Shadow Caster will be better for you. If you need an immunity user, although Amelia isn't really the best choice in RTA. Mm, if you're lacking things like Wusa, all those kind of stuff, then maybe you might need an, an Amelia. 
Uh, but I would highly suggest you to take the Ren. I think the Fire Shadow Caster, more offensive firepower, pretty decent. I am back. Yo, Wenfolk, welcome back, man. Where did you go? Dinner, is it? Please do Momo on Despair in one of your Siege. I'm saving mana, bro. <laughs> Lacking mana. Because the Siege Battle Tournament is coming up, but I guess, I guess we can probably do a Despair. Fair build, but I still feel violent is the way to go, you know. Because for my despair runes, I don't really have very, uh, how do you put it, very good um, efficiency set. Mainly because I don't farm giants, so my violent efficiency for my Momo set is like I guess one of the best in my account. If I change it to Despair, I'll be losing a lot of stats. That's the reason why I don't really like to do it on Despair. That's why you see most of my units aren't on Despair in general. Because I don't really have good efficiency runes for the Despair runes. <laughs> never farm, never farm giants. Life. Life ain't good. Yeah, we have to heal up. Looking at how... Looking at it now, the cat in Alice in Wonderland creepier than I remember. Huh, let me check this. <laughs> now, I'm, now I'm curious. Alice in Wonderland cat. Oh, this one, I see. Yeah, 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 it's very creepy though, this one. If they make it a skin, I'll be so sad. <laughs> Oh, I like I like this. Whenever I see this one, you acquire mystical scroll, which is good. We'll be able to summon more. <laughs> oh my god, the Ludus sustained that. How many lost already? Good question. I think we lost twice, if I'm not wrong. Now we are now we are playing all our fights like really safe, going bulwark everything, <laughs> because I don't really want to lose. Yeah, Violent Momo is a lot better, that's right. Finally, the Lulu goes down. And then, we'll just hold on to our Reckless Assault because I really want to kill off the Halfast first. Mm, is that 70%? Are you kidding me, man? Yeah, that should proc the Invincibility buff. Nonsense. Okay, we have to place the shield so that it doesn't life steal much. Slowly work on it. Reckless assault. This should die. All right. Press auto. Oh, one fight, ten minutes. <laughs> Cray, are you using Tyranis for offense in siege? Yes, I do. Uh, once in a while, you will see me use the Tyranis Fingian Harmonia, or something like a Tyranis. They may need that. That offense, you know, the Fing and Taranis Harmonia. Pretty decent against uh, situational uh, defenses like the Molly, Molong Combs. Oh man, what's this? What can we do? There's so many revives. I think easiest way is to cleave. But I'm really, really scared that this Savannah is faster than me. But we are gonna take the risk. Should we? Because I know EU, they always play all these trap units, right? They want to trap the tri the the Tiana. Or maybe I'm thinking too much. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, we are seeing this kind of lineup. We can bring in the fat cat here. Yeah. Where's our Josephine? Josephine Fat Cat. The exact same lineup. I think it should work. Annabelle for armor break. Uh potential Teomars. Oh wait, no. We need to deal with the fire monkey though. Hmm. 
Yeah, we're bringing Douglas, I think. I think Douglas can be good in this in this lineup. Accuracy more important. Yeah. Now just over all defense. If we can, then we'll do it. <laughs> Okay, we'll work onto the Vanessa. We we'll try to provoke the Abilio though. Wow, we are not landing anything. Just saying. We are gonna go with the armor breaks. Oh, we actually crit my Douglas. I need Douglas to proc his passive more. Okay, one shot the Clara. <laughs> yeah, Abilio no choice but to heal up. Okay, work on this unit. 21k, very nice. This should kill. Perfect, and then we got the cleanse for Anavel. Yeah, we have to cleanse. And... Can we kill off the Clara as well? Hey, this team, pretty legit. I think we can press the auto button already, right? Should be relatively safe. Amelia first is better if your team is not very tightly tuned, like one speed. Otherwise, it's usually last if your Amelia bolvert more long are fast. Yeah, my Amelia is like one speed after my Molong goes. So bolvert more long than Amelia. That's how I speed tune it. What's the best Molly defense right now? I think. In Asia server, it's still the Molong Molly Diomars. A lot of people are running that. Even more than the Savannah one nowadays. Just bring Riley and W everything. <laughs> we lost with our Riley though. We lost one fight with Riley earlier. Hey, I saw your guildies pull Dark Shadow Caster. That's amazingly rare and great. Yeah. I was so salty, I summoned my two LD scrolls. <laughs> Yeah, I only had two. Both Darians back to back. Go Douglas. Yeah, Douglas is really strong. Hey, Kray, try using Hypnomia Water. Yeah, I'm using the Burman here. I just fought 1000% accuracy Juno. <laughs> Landing all the strips. Oh, Hypnomia. Yo, Davy Jr., what's up? How are you, man? And what's the best Molly defense on 4 stars? I guess nowadays we are seeing a lot of the Abigail Triana Morny, but apart from that, I don't really see any new Morny defense for Net Force. Let me just think, yeah? Is there any? Not that I recall any. The only Morny variant so far I see is the, the one with the Triana and Abigail. Mainly because everybody is using Molly for their net 5 offense already at this point. Um, Douglas is good here for this 3 units but not the Kaki. So we can't really do this. Mm, best way to deal with this is to just go like full fire. Full fire I guess. Yeah, let's try this. We got resistance leader and elemental disadvantage for the savannah. And he still lands the armor bricks. <laughs> okay. Provoke! Nice! Yo! We have to kill off the... Kaki though. No choice but to work onto the Vanessa first. Oh, we didn't even land the uh, Oblivion. Stun? Okay, we are on Despair. No Despair stuns. No sleep. Rika is dead. Okay, the Oblivion makes sure that the Kaki is dead. We are just gonna kill. Secure. And I think we should be good. 
Oblivion the Savannah? Mm-hmm. This should do it. Yeah, Savannah will die to the dots. Simple. Oh, but quite close though. The Kaki nuke earlier, pretty big. But yet again, my Rika didn't use any skills. <laughs> Do you think Oliver will get nerfed soon? That's what we thought, but I have no idea. Apparently, Comptress might not be nerfing it. Uh, looking at the recent balance patch, it's gonna be here for the next 3 months. <laughs> And I'm not sure whether they will actually nerf it. Yeah, some people think it's balanced, so I guess I don't play Arena. I don't play Arte, so I don't really bother about the Oliver. Unless I pull one, then I'll be abusing it. But in the meantime, I'm just staying away from Arte. Okay, what's this? Huh. The only damage dealer is Rika. Let's play to uh, let's play Tiomas this time. So Tiomas Annabelle. Yeah, why not? We can bring in this this unit as well. We go full water. Should be good. Hey yo, look, I have to go. Bye, Cray and chat. See you man. Take care, look. See you soon. Put you to sleep. Oh, let me put myself to sleep. That's sad. Oh, we even failed to uh, to land the uh, the strip onto the Vanessa. Hundred percent resistance. Are you kidding me? Ariel is just gonna cleanse this away. Yeah, we got no choice but to kill the first life of the Rika. And since this Vanessa has very high resistance, we'll work onto the Rika. Mm -hmm. It's making my Josephine get so many turns. <laughs> I really love this comp. And we are always just gonna hold on to our Annabelle skills for this. But we got stun, of course. Come on man Rika, just die. Thanks. Now we have to work on to the Vanessa. This two combination together is so fun. Every time my Josephine get proc means we gotta shield up again. Look at this. Easy, easy. Sleep. Provoke. <laughs> oh, I love this. Yes, Oliver is very balanced. I guess so. <laughs> you think Oliver can use for offense on Siege? Not really. It's not a Siege unit. Because when you're running Oliver, it's gonna be very squishy. Unless you have very high efficiency runes. I remember if you watched my previous stream, the one when I did with YS, you can see... You can just take a look at his Oliver build. Mm, he showed the runes there, I guess. And yeah. That's why his G3. <laughs> play my Arte, got ran a Minato for you to play. Nah, Jing. Nah, I don't play Arte. Once in a while for a video sick, I'll do one. Like once a week kind of thing. But I don't play for people. Okay, we are down to our last sword before we end the stream. We are up against pool 80. Let's see, this is a Kinky defense. It's gonna be suicidal if we bring this team. <laughs> So, yeah, man, what can we do? We're seeing a Savannah, Kinky, Nana, and a Vanessa. Honestly, I really, really want to cleave this guy. But I'm just scared my Tiana is slower. But we're gonna take the risk. Oh, we're faster. That's nice. It's okay. Let's go for the pushback. Into the kill. Kinky will die. Savannah dismounted as well. Oh, this was actually really simple. Nice. <laughs> no stress. Okay, so we ended up 
23 out of 25. Yeah. We came back a little bit. Now the gap is only 3... 3.7k points-ish. We're still getting wrecked, no doubt. But hey. Close fight against EU. <laughs> I remember my last season, our team did like what? We were behind like 5-6k points. Something like that, it was damn bad. Mm, our defense wise, 3 out of 8 so far. So hopefully we can get more defense successes. And boost up our overall defense rate. Mm. Once again, I'm just running the same defense all the way. So we are going for the Vanessa, Gianna, Savannah and Abidio. So a video is on like a violent wheel build, just HP, speed HP, HP, Vanessa, just 100% resistance, speed HP, HP as well, Savannah, can't show you guys, but then it's just like a standard Savannah damage dealer, and my Gianna is on Nemesis, okay, yeah, violent them. and I guess that's about it for this one, so I do hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, this live stream and I'll see whether I have the time. I'll update you guys on the community page on my YouTube channel. If I'm streaming tomorrow, I'll notify you all beforehand. And yeah, take care, stay safe. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.